Okay, here we have um, M1, June 2016, IAL, question number one. All right, a car is moving along a straight horizontal road with constant acceleration. Okay, now this word, when we see this word, it should make us realize something, this phrase. We can use the equations of motion, what are called or known as the Suvat equations here. Okay, that's an important point there. All right, so you have a, a straight horizontal road. Okay, at time equals zero, at time equals zero, we have this car is at the point P. So this is when time equals zero. Moving with the speed, U. And the acceleration is constant throughout this whole journey, A. All right, in the next four seconds, it travels 76 meters. So let's say it's reached here after four seconds. All right, so we'll just do this. So in the next four seconds, let's say it's traveled 76 meters. So this is when time equals four. It's traveled 76 meters. Okay. All right. And then it says um, in the next, the following six seconds, it travels a further 219 meters. So in the next six seconds, so altogether, by this point, the time is going to be um, 10 seconds, six more seconds. It's traveled 219 meters further. So we can say that the total distance it travels, the total distance it travels all the way from there to there, okay, end of this journey, or the part that they, they've asked us to show. The total distance it traveled is 219 plus 76, which is 295 meters, okay? All right, <coughs> so now um, we have to use this information to find what the initial speed u is and the acceleration is. Okay, now when you see a situation like this, they've given us information about two different parts of the journey. Okay, so let me just not lose everything. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to call this part one and this point, point part two. All right, so I'm going to think about part one and I'm going to write down everything I know from SUVAT. Why SUVAT? Because constant acceleration. So for part one, you're going to have the distance is 76 meters. U is the initial speed, which we have to find. V is the velocity at part one. A is A, which is this, what we have to find, and T is four seconds. And I'll do the same thing for part two, for point two here. At point two, uh, the distance it's traveled is 295 meters. The initial speed, I'm considering from the beginning, it's the same as initial speed for this one because we're considering it starting from this point here. Um, v is going to be different. This is uh, the velocity at two, which is different from the velocity at one. A is the same all the way through, so A is the same in both of these situations. And the time here is 10 seconds. Now I've got to think of one of the equations of motions, okay, which will help me to find two equations from these two situations where I'll have two things that I don't know, not more than two things, only two things that I don't know. Okay, so for example, you can think of V equals U plus AT. That won't help us because the V U and A, okay, they're the same in both situations, but the V is not the same. I don't know what it is, and also it's not the same. I know what T is for both of these two situations, that's okay. The problem is the V. Okay, so that's why, for example, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS won't help us either. Because although we've got these two unknowns, all right, I know S is in both of them, but V is different for both of them, and they're unknown. Okay, they're different and unknown. S is different but known, so that's okay. So that won't help us either. So we've got to think of other alternatives. For example, let's think of S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Now, if you look at this, in both situations, I know, even though S is different, I know both of them. So that's not a problem. They're known. U is the same for both situations. It's unknown, but it's the same for both situations. T is different. However, it's known for both situations. So that's okay. A is unknown. Okay, but it's the same, again, for both situations. It's one of the things I have to find. And T, again, it's, it's known. It's different, but it's known. So I have two things that I won't have in both equations. So this is the equation of motion I need to use to generate 
two separate equations. That's one of the equations of motion. Maybe there's others as well, but that's the first thing that's come to my mind. So let's deal with that one. Losing it here. One second. Okay, so let's now deal with this. Move this out of the way a bit. Okay, so let's make an equation from situation one. So we have S equals UT, so 76 equals U times T plus a half, there's a bit bracket there, A times T squared. Okay, that will give me the equation um, 76 equals 4U plus 16 divided by 2, which is 8A. Okay, um, let's simplify this. Let's see if 76 can be divided by 4. 76 divided by 4 gives us 19. Yes, it can. So this is like 19, and 4U divided by 4 is U, and 8A divided by 4 is 2A. So we can say that's equation 1. And let's look at the second situation. We've got the distance is 295. S, 295 equals u times t, so it's u times 10, okay, plus a half times a times 10 squared, t squared, which is this time 10. Okay, so let's see what this generates for us. You've got 295 equals, um, this is 10 times the u in all four, 10 times u. Okay, and that's 100 divided by 2, which is 50, so it's plus 50A. Let's see if that is divisible by 5. Obviously it is. What's 295 divided by 5? 295 divided by 5 gives us 59. So that's 59. 10U divided by 5 is 2U. And 50A divided by 5 is 10A. That's as simple as it can get. So we have two equations in, sim in the simplest forms, which I can use now to solve simultaneously, and it will give us the answers that we require. We have 19 equals u plus 2a. That's equation 1. And we have 59 equals 2u plus 10a. Okay. So let's take equation 1 and multiply it by 2 and write it down here so that I can um, deal with it. So you've got 38 equals 2u plus 4a. I can solve simultaneously and I'll get our answer. So if I subtract here, I'm going to get uh, 21. This will disappear and I'll have 6a. And from this I can say a is equal to 21 divided by 6. Okay, um, which is like 7 over 2, which is 3.5 meters per second squared. And therefore, I can say that from this equation here, u is 19 minus 2a, which is equal to 19 minus 7, which is equal to 12 meters per second. So we've got our answers. A is 3.5 meters per second squared and u is equal to 12 meters per second okay and there we have it time to restart my computer I think okay there we have the answers for this question I hope that was clear